Hi everyone, my name is Colin with Rust Institute of Maintenance here in Addison, Texas. Today we're going to talk to you about um, a few different options in aviation maintenance once you graduate our program. Alright, follow me and we'll go into the shop. Alrighty. So here's our, our shop where we get a lot of our work done. We're going to talk a little bit about general aviation and general aviation maintenance and what that career path looks like. So once you graduate here as a fresh mechanic, you'll be able to go and work at a flight school. Typically flight schools carry Piper and Cessna products. So that would be a Piper Archer, a Piper Seminole, which is a twin. And then Cessnas, typically you'll see a 172 and the various different models. So with that, you're going to have piston engine flight school planes that are going to come down for 100 hour inspections quite frequently being flown every day so that's usually a one or two day job with yourself and another mechanic possibly helping you train you through that process so that's what the general aviation life would look like get inside and study yes, yes, <laughs> I'm like the dad on camera so this brings us to our next career path option which would be working on private owned airplanes so if you know an individual that wants to hire you uh, as a contract AMP to work on their airplane that would bring you to something like this. So this is a Piper Meridian. Um, it's got the Jet Prop DLX STC on it, which is a modification to a turbine. So it's a Pratt & Whitney PT6. It's got 560 horsepower. Working on something like this would be highly desired. Um, it's like working on a Ferrari within the private aviation. It's definitely a step up. You'd become a specialist working on turbine aircraft. Probably would have to take a course on how to work on this before doing so, but that would be one of your next options. You could graduate from this to like a Citation Mustang or a Citation 10, even Lear jets, those sorts of things, and ultimately end up in Gulf Streams or Globals if that's your desired career path. So that brings us to our last option, which is going to be commercial aviation. So the path to that would look like once you graduate, we have Envoy recruiters that will hire our students uh, two months before you graduate. You can get a job offer from Envoy. So what that looks like is you get hired on at Envoy and ultimately that will help you flow to American if that's your end goal is to work at American Airlines. You can also work at United. So what that means for both of those would be if you work at Envoy or whether you work at United, you're going to have different bases based on seniority. So whenever you're brand new, you're most likely going to be working nights and they're going to give you a few options of where you're going to work. So you might end up in Denver, Houston, Seattle, those sorts of places depending on which operator Envoy versus United needs mechanics. So it's the needs of the company and then seniority ties into that. So once you have some time under your belt, you will be able to request a transfer to Dallas or wherever you desire to live. That's the flow for that. So once you work at Envoy, you can get seniority to pick your location and then from there you can move on to working at American Airlines once you have some experience and then ultimately work from nights to switching to days and then United hires on. You don't have to do a flow path from United's regional airline at this time. So that's a really great opportunity if you wanna go commercial aviation. So those are the three options. There's a lot of other niches in the industry that you can find. So some do paint specialty. You can also end up in helicopters, working at Bell, helping with assembly. There's lots of different options working on Blackhawks in the firefighting industry. You can even end up instructing if you wanted to once you had some experience under your belt. So there's a lot of great opportunities and we'd love to help you find what suits you best. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you in the next video.